So we've got our platform scene, we've also got our first level scene. Now it's time to work on our character. Now when we're looking at characters, we can go for a third person camera, which is where we view our character from behind, or a first person camera where we're playing from the eyes of the character. In this video, we're looking at a third person camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to scene, new scene, and I want to add something called a kinematic body. I'm going to go to kinematic body, add one in. The first thing we should always do with our root node is rename it. So I'm going to rename it to player. Now we'll get a warning to say that our player currently doesn't have any collision. So what we need to do is add a collision node. So under child node, I'm going to go to collision and I want a collision shape. So I'm going to add that in, and once we've got our collision shape, it's going to ask us to select the shape we want that collision to be. So I'm going to go and change it to what's called a capsule, and I'm going to transform this capsule a little bit to make it look a little bit more like a player. So first thing is on the X direction, I'm going to rotate it by 90. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the scale to 1.2 in the Z to give it a little bit more height. Now, we've got the collision set up, but we can't see any of this in the game when we play it ourselves. So what we're going to do is add a new child node, and we're going to call it a mesh instance. So we get the mesh instance, and hit create. So now we've got that set up, we can give this mesh a shape, and it's going to be called a capsule mesh. So now we've got that set up, and that's all ready to go. Next thing we're going to do, is we're going to add another mesh. So we're going to click on player, add a child node, and we're going to get another mesh instance. Now this mesh instance is just going to be a box, like so. And we want to transform this one as well, make it a little bit smaller. So in the X, we'll do 0.2. In the Y, we'll also do 0.2. And we're just going to move this up and across and this is just going to be a little arm so we can see which way our character is facing and actually it's a little bit long still in the Z so we're just going to shrink this down to maybe 0.6 like so and we've got our arm there so we've got that all set up now so next thing we need to do is we just need to add a camera so I'm just going to rotate and move backwards in order to do this just hold right click so you can look around and then just hit W, A, S and D keys to move backwards. We can go back to behind our player. Now, next thing we need to do is we actually need to add a new spatial node. So under our player, a new child node, and we want a spatial node. And this one here, we're just going to call pivots. So I'm just going to rename it pivots. And then I'm going to grab the spatial node and move it back a little bit. And it's just going to appear behind our character, like so. And then finally, on this pivot node, we're just going to add our camera. Remembering that obviously we're viewing this camera from behind our player, like so. And we can actually test this so we can do a preview. So this is what we're currently seeing, which is obviously not our character at all. So we just need to transform this and rotate this so it's facing around the other way. So uh, I can't remember which one this is going to be. So let's do 180 in the Y. Preview it again. And then this is what we'll see as the camera. So what you just need to do with the camera now is play around with it, rotate it until you get it the way you want it to be. So we can play around with all these different options here, move it back until we get something that we like the look of. And again, just keep hitting that preview window until you like what you see. I'm going to lift mine up a little bit more. And I'm starting to like that now. Once you've got it happy, final thing that you need to do, you need to do scene, and then you need to save the scene. And I'm going to call it player, and then hit save. And then finally, we can go back to our level one, hit the link option, and add our player in. So now our player is in the world. He's a little bit big, so we can scale him down and make him a little bit smaller. So we can use the transform options for that. So we'll just set all of these to 0.2. Oh, 
0 0.2, 0 0.2. And 0.2 this will make him a fifth of the size of what he was before and there we go that's our player in the world now finally we just have to delete our old camera and you can now test this so I'm just gonna take my old camera we don't need it anymore so I'm just going to delete that node and then we can hit the play button and then we can start working on some movement